Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Arma 3 to fly with a PS3 controller or a generic USB controller for your computer. Um, Arma 3 is coded and programmed to be partial gamepad support or partial controller support. What this means is essentially that some of the functions you can already map to a controller, but you cannot map all of them because there's just so many different functions and abilities in Arma 3. You can't map it all to one controller without using fancy external software like XPatter. Um, XPatter is a great program. Uh, you got to buy it though. I don't want to do that just to fly. You know, XPatter allows you to do a lot of crazy things with a, just a controller like, uh, you know, click L3 and you get the throw grenade or hold R3 and you do something else. It's very fancy, you know, you, things you can do with it, but it's just too much. All I want to do is fly. And I, I didn't want to have to buy a program for that. So I thought to myself, you know, I got an extra PS3 controller laying around. Let's plug it into my computer and see what happens. So I did that. I have a wireless aftermarket PS3 controller that has a USB receiver. So I plugged that into the USB on my computer. It downloaded a, a driver update for it. And then I just went into my configure files, controls, and under the controller menu, it was able to pick up the controller, no problem. Rock Candy wireless gamepad for PS3. This is just a cheap $30 aftermarket controller. You can buy them at Walmart. Um, like I said, mine's wireless, which is nice. You can also buy wired versions, um, or online you can buy wired play, uh, com PC controllers. Same idea. When you go here and look under customize, you can see when I uh, move my joysticks, it's registering as um, up and down on the left joystick is Y axis, left and right on the left joystick is X axis, up and down on the right joystick is Z rotation, and left and right is Z axis. So now you can see my controller is registering all good. I'm going to hit OK, hit OK again. And under the uh, helicopter movement menu, you can see I've already mapped out different controls here, all these rock candy controls. It's really simple. If you, have, if you never reprogram your controls, it's just as simple as telling the, the game what button you want. So for Cadillac forward, which is to lean forward to move, um, I want to use left stick forward, which I'm going to push forward on the left stick, and it's going to register as rock candy stick Y negative axis. So then when I'm in the game and I lean forward on the left stick, the helicopter will lean forward and start to go forward. It's really as simple as that. Um, program up the way you want, the way you feel most comfortable. I'm going to real quick show you how I have mine set up and do a little bit of flying here and go over all my controls and that's it. Um, again, this is very, very simple to do. It's is really just a video. Get the information out there. It is possible. It's really easy. You don't have to download XPatter or fancy programs like that. So to start off, I have um, R2 is my Cadillac up or my raise elevation, whatever. L2 is lower. It's pretty simple. L1 and R1 are my left and right rotor to rotate. Left stick is the main control, so lean forward. You know, you just start gliding forward, lean back, all that good stuff to stop. Strife left and right. All this, all this is on the left axis, just like normal. I have, I actually have circle set to auto hover, nice and easy. Um, auto hover on and auto hover off because they're separate commands, but it works for one button. So now it's on. You can see I can't really move left or right because the auto hover is trying to stop it. And you can see it up in the top corner, auto hover is on, but if I turn it off again, the arrows go away and I'm back in free mode. I currently have, uh, let me get stationary here, I currently have the, um, pretty much every button on my controller is set up except for the home button, which I need to use to turn my controller on. So let's go over real quick, like I said, I got those ones. X is my firing mode, I'm sorry, my firing, so here we got the regular gun. And if you hit square, it'll change the firing mode. So here we got the rockets. Pretty simple. Uh, triangle is landing gear, which obviously the AH Pawnee doesn't have. But if you had a helicopter or I had this programmed also for um, planes, triangle will do the landing gear. I also have set up the, a little lower here, the um, start button or the, the triangle in the middle is the sling assist and then the select button which is a little square in the middle is my actual sling load 
I don't have anything to sling load with me on right now, but if I did, you'd hold it down and then drop down the sling and pick it up. And then the final thing, which was the trickiest, the trickiest thing to get set up was I put free look on the right stick. And I wanted to do this so when I'm flying around, I could easily kind of scout where I'm trying to land and stuff like that. But when you set it up, you need to make sure you set it up as free look analog. This will allow you to, um, do partial inputs, you know, so you can look just a little bit and not, uh, you know, look too hard. Mine's a little sensitive. I don't know if it's that's just because of my controller, but it took a little getting used to, but I got the hang of it, and now I'm able to fly pretty easily. Um, honestly, I really wasn't that good at flying with just the, the keyboard and the mouse. I found it kind of tricky. Um, I'd start to fly, and I'd start to panic, and I'd start pushing buttons, and... You know, if I, I could probably practice a little more, I get better. But I find flying with the joystick is so easy, and even just the day I programmed it, I was able to pick it up and get flying really quickly, really efficiently. I haven't had any issues since I started using the game controller. And like I showed you in my options, I still have my WASD um, configured for controls. So if I'm in a pinch, you know, in playing multiplayer, and I find a helicopter. I can jump in it real quick. If my controller's not around, I can still control it just as easy with my my keyboard and mouse. But I still have I now have the option to control it with the controller if that is uh, feasible for me. If I have time to grab the controller, or if that's something that I want to do. If I'm planning on flying that day, you know, I'll have the controller nearby and turn it on real quick and hop in. And that's really all it takes. Just you know, get your controls set up and get in the game and start playing with it.